Well, according to Iran, it sees no point in reviving the 2015 nuclear agreement without guarantees from the United States that it will not withdraw again. Iran is also stressing it wants an end to the UN probes that surround Tehran's atomic ambitions. According to the United States officials, Iran's stance on this matter is unreasonable. After a meeting with Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, French President Emmanuel Macron said, and I quote, the ball on reaching a nuclear deal with Iran is now in Tehran's camp. However, Raisi blamed the deal's European parties and the United States for failure to revive it. The Islamic Republic also wants the International Atomic Energy Agency to drop its years-long probes into unexplained traces of uranium found at three undeclared sites in Iran. Resolution of the so-called safeguards investigation is critical to the IAEA. The agency seeks to ensure parties to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty are not secretly diverting nuclear material which they could use to make a weapon. However, Iran denies any such ambition. The 2015 agreement limited Iran's uranium enrichment activity to make it harder for Tehran to develop nuclear arms. This was done in return for lifting international sanctions. Well, Susan Tarani, our US correspondent, is joining us live from New York City for more on this. Susan, nothing positive really coming out of these comments. Uh, what's been the US reaction to this so far? Yeah, it's interesting that U.S. President Joe Biden even talked about uh, Iran during his U.N. address. You know, he, it's this Iran nuclear deal has been a cornerstone of this administration, despite uh, really facing criticism from both sides of the aisle. He said that diplomacy still remains the best path forward in trying to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. But ultimately, he was very clear in saying that um, be, uh, that uh, we're not going to let Iran acquire a nuclear weapon. And then, you know, we just go in circles, Iran saying that uh, it's not acquiring a nuclear weapon. So I think, uh, as you mentioned, the, just the issue just seems to be extremely deadlock uh, at this point with both sides, you know, pointing the finger at one another. And I think it all started when uh, former U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew from the deal. It sort of gave the Iranians an excuse to um, breach the deal by rebuilding those stockpiles of enriched uranium and what the US is saying is um, at this point the expectations that are coming from Tehran are a little bit outrageous because what they're asking is for the United States and European countries to interfere in the independence of the IAEA and sort of tell the IAEA or request from the IAEA to have a hands-off approach uh, when it comes to investigating um, Iran's nuclear sites. And Susan, for months, the U.S. administration has been talking about this idea of being close to a new agreement. They've lessened that in recent months. And of course, this past week, we've seen uh, both leaders, President Biden and President Ibrahim Raisi, in New York City. And yet we seem to be no nearer an agreement. What are the chances, do you think, that something could be resolved really anytime soon? You know, it's very interesting that you're absolutely right. Uh, both sides, when uh, it almost seems like geographically when they're apart, uh, they speak of uh, being closer to an agreement. But uh, when they're so close here uh, at the same venue, the venue of global diplomacy, um, the agreement just seems to be so far apart. Uh, on the one hand, here in the United States, it's hard to imagine that President Biden would even uh, think of reaching some sort of agreement with Iran, at least before the midterm elections. Uh, many within his own party are skeptical of striking a deal with Iran, and the optics of that for the American people might not be uh, very favorable. Uh, despite the fact that, you know, this administration has been saying that diplomacy 
is the ba best path forward in preventing Iran from re uh, acquiring a nuclear weapon. And Iran denies acquiring a nuclear weapon on the one hand. On the other hand, um, we see that uh, Iran has to stay firm uh, for its domestic audience as well, saying that, you know, we have requirements from uh, the United States uh, in terms of lifting sanctions. So I think both sides right now are appealing to their domestic audience. And that's one of the reasons why this, why, why this deal isn't being reached. And another problem is that Iran refuses to engage with the United States uh, directly. Thank you, Susan. That was Susan Tarani joining us live from New York City. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.